please have a seat. Ask you to please state and spell your name. Uasia Davis, U-A-S-I-A-D-A-V-I-S. Good afternoon. Can you tell the jury how old you are, please? 39. Where did you grow up? Lafayette Gardens. You have not been telling people you're 39 for the last 10 years, have you? No. Did you ever hear the comedian Jack Benny at all? Anybody ever hear of Jack Benny? His age was always 39, so it just triggered this response automatically. I'm not suggesting you're not 39. Okay. Go ahead. Next question. So what building within Lafayette Gardens did you grow up in? 433. 433. I'm going to show you on the TV screen next to you, Government Exhibit 101. If you could tell us where is 433? And your last name is Davis? Yes, ma'am. Did you know a person by the name of Ivory Davis? Yes. Who is Ivory Davis to you? My cousin. Did he have a nickname? Peanut. Where did Peanut grow up? In Lafayette Gardens. Whereabouts in Lafayette Gardens? 433. Is that with you? Yes. Do you know a person named World? Yes. Do you know his real name? Damien Hardy. Do you see him today? Yes. Can you tell us what he's wearing? Stipulated. All right, so the record will so reflect. Do you know a person by the name of eBay? Yes. Do you see him here? Yes. What's he wearing? The white kufi on his head. His lawyer is sitting in front of him. I can't really see that good. All right, the record will reflect that he's been identified. Thank you. eBay, do you know his real name? Eric Moore. How do you know World and eBay? We all came from the same projects. Where did eBay grow up? I guess in Coney Island and Lafayette Gardens too. When he was in Lafayette Gardens, where was he living? I guess on the fourth floor in 433. Did he live there with anybody else? I guess so, yes. Your Honor, I'm going to object to guess. Either she does or she doesn't. Yes. Okay, so guessing. Have you ever testified in court before? Yes. So avoid the word guess. If you don't remember, you can say that too. Okay. Do you know who eBay grew up with? Yes. Who was that? Trub, the footman's. And what about World? He grew up in the projects with his mother, his brothers. And what building? In 325. Did there come a time that you started to sell drugs? Yes. When was that? In 1995. Who did you start selling drugs for? World. Before you sold drugs for him, had you ever sold drugs before? No. Yes, I did. Okay, when was that? It was when I was 16. I can't remember the year, though. I was a minor at the time. I was 16. Who did you sell drugs with? I had been out of town for my cousin. Is that Peanut? Yes. Around that time, before I ask you that, you told us that World had some brothers. Did you know a brother of his by the name of Wise? Yes. Do you know Wise's real name? Myron Hardy. Did there come a point where you were a witness to anything that happened between Peanut and Wise in the early 1990s? Yes. What happened? He came and knocked on my door looking for my cousin, and he asked for him. I went to go get my cousin. When my cousin came to the door, they went out in the hallway and in the exit. And when my cousin came back, his face was gashed up with blood. He had set him up in the exit. You're saying he. Is that wise? 
Yes, wise. A little lower with the volume. Is that wise? Wise. When you say set him up, what do you mean? He had somebody else try to rob him in the exit. How do you know? Because my cousin came back in the house saying he set me up. He set me up. You said you started selling drugs for World in 1995. How long did you continue doing that? I stopped in 98 when I got locked up. What did you get locked up or arrested for in 1998? For selling to an undercover cop in 433? That's the building that you grew up in? Yes, ma'am. And at that time, what happened after you got arrested? I got locked up. I did a one and three, came home, and that was it. So you went to jail for a period of time? Yes. At the time that you started to sell drugs for World in 1995, was World selling alone or with other people? With other people. Who were some of the people that he was selling with? Trub. It was a lot of us. Popsy. It was a lot of us. And was anyone in the group in charge of the group? No, but him. Who is him? World. I'm just going to, if you would look over at this board here, I'm just going to quickly go through and tell us who you know. Can you see from there? You can turn it a little bit. Let me start from here. Government Exhibit 11. Can you see that? Yes. Who is that? Tion. Government Exhibit 56. Porto. 12. I can't really see. Oh, Carl. They call him anything else? Big Jims. 14. I can't see. DJ. 39. Me. 41. Bunny. 24. Stacks. 7. Popsy. 6. Keith. Did he have another name? I can't remember right now. 42. KB. Did KB have any relationship with anybody else? Trouble. And who is number 8? Trub. Number 9. Sambo. 40. Phil. 4. Thor. 5. Boo. 35. Diesel. And 10. Jimbo. So all of those people that we went through were those people that were selling drugs in Lafayette Gardens around the same time that you were? Yes, ma'am. And did you have a nickname? Yes. What was your nickname? Plum. The people that were selling drugs for World, did they go by any name? Yes, we all had nicknames. No, I mean the group itself. Oh, CMB. What does CMB stand for? Cash Money Brothers. Do you know where that came from? New Jack City. That's a movie? Yes. And when you were selling for World, where were you getting drugs from? World. After you got the drugs, what would you do with them? Sell it. How would you get them? What would it look like? In a bomb. What's a bomb? Bag of cracks and capsules. How many bombs would you sell in a day? Wow, a lot. How was the business then in the early 1995 to 1998? Great. So how much money would you say that you were making every day that you were selling? Oh, we would make $10 off of a bomb. You add that up. It would be like a hundred dollars a piece if you sold enough or more than that. 
Once you sold those drugs and kept the money that you were supposed to keep, where did the rest of the money go? To World. Did you have shifts? Yeah. What kind of shifts did you work? I worked the day shift sometimes. Sometimes I worked the night shift, the graveyard. And in terms of the people that were selling, are there other people that were selling drugs at that time for World that aren't on that board? Not that I can remember, no. Do you know Lenny Lowe, for example? Yeah. And eBay. What was eBay doing when you were selling drugs in 1995? A little bit of everything. What does that mean? Starting trouble, everything. Okay. Well, was he selling drugs when you were selling drugs? I never seen him sell drugs. I never seen that. And what about the places that you... Well, when you say starting trouble, can you tell us anything else about what you mean by that? Like picking with people. He was just the earth disturber. I didn't understand that. An earth disturber? Yeah, a troublemaker. Were there particular houses within Lafayette Gardens that you all kept drugs in? Yes, Bunny. And we saw Bunny there when we went through the names? Uh-huh, yes. Where did she live? At 433-16. Did the people that were selling drugs for World have access to firearms? Yes. Did you ever carry a gun? Yes. Have you ever shot a gun? No. Can you tell us about some of the times that you've carried a gun? To New London, Connecticut and to Marcy Projects. Let's start with Connecticut. Tell us about the time that you carried a gun to Connecticut. I was asked to take the guns to New London, Connecticut. He would meet me down there by the train, which he did, and I took it down there, and the next day I left back to come back to New York. Who is he? World. So when you say that he asked you to carry a gun, did he provide you with a gun? Yes, ma'am. Was that one gun or more than one gun? I think it was like two. How did you carry them to Connecticut? In my pocketbook. When you got there, what did you do with them? I gave them to him. Do you know what kind of guns they were? No. Did World ever pay you for that? No. Around that time, did you have any sort of personal relationship with him? I thought I did, but I probably didn't. Do you have any tattoos related to him? Yes. What kind of tattoos do you have? World. Where do you have that tattoo? On my left leg. You told us about a second time that you went to Marcy Projects. How far away from Lafayette Gardens is Marcy Projects? It's not that far. What does that mean? It's walking distance. So what happened that you ended up carrying guns to Marcy Projects? I was asked to stop from hustling and to make a run to take some guns over there, ride a bike over there, and to bring them back when they was done. Who asked you to do that? World. So when you say stop hustling, you mean stop selling drugs? Yes, ma'am. All right, and when he asked you to carry guns, how did he give them to you? In a knapsack. Do you know how many guns were in there? No, I didn't count. It was one knapsack? Yes. And what did he ask you to do with them? To ride the bike to Marcy Projects, wait there till they get there in the car, and they will take them from me? Did you do that? Yes, ma'am. So you biked to Marcy Projects with guns in a knapsack for World? Yes, ma'am. And when you arrived at Marcy Projects, what happened? I gave the guns to them after they pulled up, and they were standing there sniffing coke, and then they was like, wait right here. When we come back, you just go back to the projects, and that's what I did. 
You're saying they. Who was there? World, Popsy, Stacks, and eBay. When you say that they drove in a car, do you know what kind of car it was? A green Toyota Corolla. Do you know whose car that was? World. When he arrived there, you handed off the gun in the knapsack to them? Yes, ma'am. And where did they go? They drove off. They went to Marcy Projects. Like a few minutes later, they were shooting. And then they came back and gave me back the bag. And I got on the bike and I went back to the projects. So during that time that you were hearing shooting, you were just standing and waiting for them? Yes, ma'am. How close were you to Marcy when that was going on? It was like a block up. It was not that far. Were you paid for that? No. And you drove. You did not ride in the car back? No, I rode the bike back. Were you ever asked to transport any crack cocaine for World? Yes, ma'am. When? Oh, this was like 96, 97. What happened? We went to Cleveland, Ohio. What was in Cleveland, Ohio? I guess that was his aunt house, but I do believe that was his aunt house. What happened? We got, well, we got there. We stayed for like a week or so. World had to come back to New York to go to court but he never made it back to Cleveland because he got arrested. So I had to bring all the stuff back to New York. Well, let's start in New York. You said you took it to Ohio. So where did you get it when you were in New York? I don't know where he got it from. Where did you get it from? I got it from him. What did it look like? It was a lot. Do you know how much? No. What kind of packaging? It wasn't in a packaging. It was just wrapped up like in a saran wrappy like that. So you took it and where did you put it? Inside my duffel bag with my personal belongings. Then what did you do? And I got on the bus to Cleveland, Ohio, and he drove and met me at the bus station. Who paid for your bus ticket? He did. That's world? Yes. And when you say he drove, he drove in a car to Cleveland, Ohio? Yes. When you arrived at the bus station, world was there to pick you up? Yes. Was he alone or with somebody else? He was with someone else. Who was that? Diesel. Now, you said you got down there and gave the package of drugs to World? Yes, ma'am. What happened after that? We stayed down there for a while, for, like I said, for like a week or so, but he had to come back down. He had to go to court. So when he came down there to go to court, he got, I guess, the rest of it. So I had to come all the way back from Cleveland with the stuff that I brung down there back to New York. Did you bring it back in the same way that you had brought it there? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I know it's late, but how did you feel that you had to do that? I was kind of scared because it was the saying, you never go back with the same stuff that you brung. Do you know what the intent was with that cocaine to do with it in Ohio? To sell. Did you have an argument with anybody about that? Yes, his brother. Who was that? Wise. What happened? He wanted the stuff. I was mad because I didn't get paid for both transportation trips that I took and we was tussling about it. We got into a fight about it and that was it. Did you get to keep? I didn't get to keep anything. Did there come a point where you were robbed of any crack cocaine? Yes. When? Oh, this was like in 97. What happened? An aunt knew a friend that wanted somebody to go out of town, and she knew that that's what I used to do at that time, 
and he wanted me to pay for my own bus ticket and I felt some type of way about it so I just took everything. So the person that you were supposed to go with did not pay for your bus ticket so you were upset? Uh huh. How much did you steal? It was a six deuce. What's that? What's a six deuce? It's a large amount. How much is it? I don't know really to tell you in like ounces or anything like that. I just know it was a six deuce. What did you do with that once you stole it? Once I took it, I called World from the train station and he told me to meet him in LG. Did you do that? Yes, ma'am. What happened after you went there to LG? He came, he got the stuff, and they told me not to go outside. And he is World? Yes. Why weren't you to go outside? Because the guys was coming back around looking for me. The guys that you had stolen the drugs from? Yes, ma'am. Did that happen? Yes. What happened as a result? Me and Popsy and Stax was in a store and the Jamaicans rolled up and started shooting at us while we were standing in front of the store. And those were the people that you had stolen the drugs from? Yes, ma'am. Did anyone get hit? No. Did anyone shoot back? Yes, Popsy shot back, but Stax cut him because he had his daughter with him. You said you went to jail in 1998, is that right? Yes, February 4th. When did you get out? January 20th of 2000. When you got out of jail, did you return to drug selling? No. Did you see World again? Yeah. I'm going to direct your attention to June of 2000. Did there come a point where your cousin was murdered? Yeah. Where were you when that happened? I didn't hear you. Where were you when that happened? I was upstairs asleep. In your home in 433? Yes. What happened? The day before, we was all outside, and I told my girlfriends that I was going upstairs because I had a headache. And like around 4.30 that morning, my aunt woke us up and told us and said, get up. They killed Peanut. And when my aunt came to get us, we rode to Manhattan, and my cousin was laid out on the ground. Do you need to take a few moments, or you think you're capable of going forward today? I can't. It's up to you. We can stop now and you can come back tomorrow. You decide. When we reached on Spring Street, it was hard for us to try to find him, but we kept following the helicopter and my aunt finally found a spot. And when we got out of the car, the officers was pushing us back because they knew we was his family and my cousin was just laid out on the ground. So the officers told us that they were going to take us to the precinct. And the witnesses kept yelling, a green car, a green car. Objection, judge, as to what the witnesses yelled. You heard people say that? We heard people say they was yelling, a green car. Objection, judge. Overruled. When you were there, you heard this type of screaming? We heard the type of screaming. Objection overruled. Next question. Did you return to Lafayette Gardens later that day? Yeah. And the following days? Yeah. Did there come a time that you saw anybody that was in the Cash Money Brothers in Lafayette Gardens? Yeah. Who did you see? eBay, Trub, it was all of them in front of the building. And that's 433? Yes. What time was that? What day? Do we have a date? Is that the same day we're talking about or later? No, it was the same day when we came back. It was later on that day. What happened? They were standing in front of the building. We coming out and they saying, yeah, we won, we won. Saying and directing loves to us, letting us know, letting us know what was going on, but we already knew. When you say we won, what did you understand that to mean? 
we took the interpretation as they murdered my cousin. Did you see World again after Peanut was murdered? I seen him like probably like a few weeks after that, close to like a month. Where were you? I was walking up Classen Avenue with a friend of mine going to Fort Greene Projects. All right, and just, I'm going to put the map up again. Classen Avenue is the avenue that you told us that World lived on? Yes. And what happened? And my girlfriend kept saying it felt like somebody walking behind us. So when we kept turning around, it looked like somebody kept ducking. So I stopped and she kept going and it was World. He was like, come here, let me talk to you for a minute. I was like, what? We don't got nothing to talk about. So we went inside his building where he used to live at. And I said, what happened with my cousin? He was like, that's my big boy business. Mind your business. Yeah, my eBay popped that. What did you respond? We was tussling. What do you mean tussling? Like snatching and grabbing on each other? And pop that. What did you take that to mean? As he had shot my cousin. Did your life change after your cousin was murdered in 2000? Yes. How did it change? I started smoking crack. Prior to that, had you used drugs? No. Yes, I used to sniff coke, but it wasn't like heavy like that. That was after my mother passed. When you started to use crack, that was in 2000 after your cousin, after my cousin got murdered. How long did you continue to use crack cocaine? Since how I seen my friend get murdered. When was that? Like in 207? 2007? Yeah. How heavy was the drug use around that time? It was very heavy. For all those years? Yes. And you said your friend was killed. Is that related to the CMB at all or world? No, it was something else. It was something different? Yes.